Comrade B, a tiling window manager of Windows. If that sentence made sense to you, then you know what Comrade B is all about. For the rest of you, let's go into this. In every operating system with Windows, there exists a window manager, and the job of the window manager is to, well, manage windows. It's a window manager that keeps track of where to place your open windows and keep track of what window is active and so on. Now, there exists plenty of window manager, but they all generally fall into two categories, floating window managers and tiling window managers. A floating window manager is what most likely comes to mind when you think about a computer. In a floating window manager, you open your windows and they are, well, floating. Windows can overlap with each other, and when a window is focused, it's placed on top of the stack of windows. Floating window managers are also called stacking window managers because of this. Pros of a floating window manager. It's a fairly easy model to comprehend and use that is analogous to how we organize papers on our desks. We can move papers around, and whatever paper we want to use is generally placed at the top of the stack. It requires very little setup. In general, you can just start using a floating window manager right off the box and have a good experience. You have a lot of freedom to place windows wherever you wish. You simply just drag them around and place them where you feel. Cons of a floating window manager? Well, the biggest con of a floating window manager is the fact that, just like a desktop with a lot of papers, it's easy for the desktop to become cluttered, leading to you having to look for the window you want. Sometimes you want to have a different set of windows displaying, and when using a floating window manager, it's not very easy to switch between these different layouts. Let's give an example. Let's say I am working on some code, and I have some documentation open as well. Now imagine I get a message on Discord. Well, I have to find Discord among my open windows and bring it to the front. Then I have to get back to the original windows I was using. Now I want to change the playlist that is playing on Spotify to something else. Once again, I have to do the procedure of finding the window and opening it up. Now, Windows does provide you with some features to ease these pain points. And by showing these and comparing them to how it's done in Comerabi later, I hope you'll be able to see the benefits Comerabi brings. But I'm getting ahead of myself. To contrast how floating window manager works, let's look at how a tiling window manager works. In a tiling window manager, whenever you open a new window, it's placed on your screen according to some rules, a layout. And this is the first concept of Comerabi we will explore. There are multiple different layouts, and what layout is best is often a combination of matter of personal taste, the form factor of your monitor, and the type of windows you're trying to tile. But let's take a look at some of the more commonly used layouts. BSP. In BSP, the first window you open will be full screen. The second window will split the view into two containers vertically. The third window you open will split the second container horizontally into two containers. The fourth window you open will split the third container into two containers horizontally and so on splitting the last created container, alternating between horizontally and vertically. Vertical stack. In a vertical stack, you once again get a full screen window, the first window you open. And on the second window and the third window, you also get the same behavior as BSP. But when you open your fourth window, you will notice it keeps growing the vertical stack. So in a vertical stack, you have a main window and a stack. There also exists a horizontal stack that works in a very similar way. Columns. Each window you open will continually split the monitor into columns of equal size. Rows. It will similarly split the monitor into rows of equal size. If you got an ultra wide screen, you might also be interested in the aptly named ultra wide vertical stack. It gives you a main window in the middle, a column window to the left, and a vertical stack to the right, and makes good use of the form factor. Some, or probably most of you, have probably reacted to this, thinking that I omitted that Windows already can do something akin to this. And that's because Windows does not use a pure floating window manager. It also has some tiling window manager features as well. By dragging a window to the side of your monitor, or to the top bar in Windows, it's possible to tile your windows into different layouts. There's also several Windows shortcuts for doing this. Windows plus the arrow keys will move the window around, snapping to the edges and corners. 
Windows plus Alt plus the up and down keys will let you split the monitor horizontally, and the left and right keys let you split it into a column layout. Now the biggest difference between how the tiling is done in Comerabi and in Windows is the fact that in Windows it's you telling the window manager how to tile the windows and in Comerabi it's the tiling window manager that tells you how a window will be tiled. The second concept of Comerabi that I want to discuss is workspaces. A workspace is simply a collection of windows tiled according to a certain layout. This is a really important aspect that helps combat the scenario earlier when you have certain programs open. So let's see how this can be done in Comerabi. On Workspace 1, I might have VS Code and a documentation website or a tutorial or whatever open. But whenever I want to check messages or control Spotify, I can just swap the Workspace to and now I have my Spotify and Discord window open just the way I want it. And when I'm done with whatever it was I was doing, I can simply swap back to Workspace 1 again. And I will have my windows open again, just the way I left them. The ease of switching between workspaces is really powerful, but does require you to keep in mind what windows are on what workspaces. Which is why I generally tend to keep the same type of layout. For example, I usually keep Spotify and Discord on Workspace 2 on my second monitor. It helps lessen the burden of tracking what workspace each window is on. Again, this is something that you kind of can do in Windows, but it has some major flaws. In Windows, you can create a new desktop with Control, Win, plus D. Whatever you put on Desktop 1 will remain on Desktop 1, and you can switch to your new desktop with Control, Win, Right Arrow. However, if you have multiple monitors, you might notice that when you switch desktop, they just swap the desktop of all your monitors. In Windows, there is no way to change the desktop on just one monitor. It's tied to both monitors, and I think this is one key aspect of Comerabi. Each monitor can have its own set of workspaces, and you're free to swap workspace on a monitor by monitor basis. So if I were to list the major pros of using Comerabi over the floating window manager in Windows, it would be the following. The windows are tiled for you. No more dragging around windows to see what you need to see. You can easily organize your windows into workspaces and swap between workspaces easily. However, there are some issues using Comerabi. It might sound like it's all perfect, but there are some things to keep in mind. To use Comerabi effectively, you have to configure it. It's not overly hard, and the developer of Comerabi has an excellent guide for installing Comerabi, as well as configuring it, that I will link in the description, along with the Comerabi website. Currently, there is no mostly fully featured GUI for configuring Comerabi, so the configuration is done mostly by config files. However, the dev is currently doing a YouTube series about creating a GUI for it using Rust and a GUI, so that's something to look forward to. Some Windows do not want to cooperate very well with Comerabi. This is something that can be configured in Comerabi, so that it simply does not manage these windows, but lets them stay in a floating window instead. There is a massive list of programs that users of Comerabi have co helped compile, and if you run into a program that doesn't cooperate, you're more than welcome to contribute to that list. But again, this is something that requires some more configuration. There are some bugs here and there. Comerabi is not a 1.0 release. There are features being added and bugs being fixed very often. The dev is very active and generally open to feedback. If you run into bugs or issues, you're more than welcome to discuss it in the Discord and talk with other Comerabi users and get help with it. However, I do want to point out that even though it's not a 1.0 release, it's more than ready to be used daily. This video has gone on longer than I expected, so I will have to cut here, but if any of this sounds interesting to you, go ahead and give Comerabi a try, and I will post the links mentioned in the video down below, and I have plans to also make a second video going over the installation and how to configure Comerabi, as well as some other settings in Windows that will make your experience better. If you made it this far and haven't done it yet, go ahead and join the Discord. Just this week it reached 1k members. Anyways, thanks for watching. See ya!